Hello everyone, this is Sudhir and welcome back to my class. Today we are going to learn a very important topic that is how to find the square root. In the previous classes we discussed about a square of a number like 25 is there, 25 square root 25 into 25 that is equal to 625. Now what we are going to learn, if that 625 is a number, so how we can find out the square root of the number, okay, that we are using prime factorization. We have the different methods like prime factorization and the division method. So present we are focusing on prime factorization method. So before going to solve this one, first of all you must know what is the prime number, okay. So what is the prime number? Prime numbers are the number which can divisible by 1 and itself, 1 and itself. So what are the numbers? Here I am writing see, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, so on, so on. So these type of numbers are called the prime numbers, okay. Because these numbers are divisible by only 1 and itself, but it can't be divisible by any other number. For suppose, uh, 2, 3, just I am going to take your, okay, 4 I have taken. 4 is a number, 4, will divis uh, 4 can be divisible by 1 and 4 can be divisible by 4. Along with that, 4 can be divisible by 2 also. So, we have the more than 2 factors, right? So, this is not a prime number. This one we call it a composite number, okay? Right. So, I hope you understood what is the prime numbers. So, these numbers are for the prime numbers. Not only this, still we have, still we have, you can try to uh, write and you can try to learn at least 1 to 100 between 1 to 100 prime numbers, okay? So, 19 is the 19 after the next number. Actually, 20 we get, 20 is the 4, 5 is the 20 we can write so that it is a composite but not a prime number. So, next number 21, 21 is a prime number or not. 7, 3 is a 21 so that it is not a prime number. Next to 22, 11, 2 is a 22, not a prime number. Next to 23, 23 you can't divide with any other number except 1 and itself so that 23 is the prime number. Okay. So, now 441. 41. So, to solve this type of questions, you must know about the prime factor, sorry, prime numbers and divisibility rule also, divisibility rule. So, as for the divisibility rule, last number is 1, so that it is not a divisible by 2. Correct? Next, so 441, you can add 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9, 9 is the multiple of 3, so that this 441 can be divisible by 3. Okay? So, now with the 3, I am going to Divide it. So 3, 1s are 3. Okay. It carries 1 here. 1, 1, 4, 14, 3, 4, 12, 2, 1, 21, 3, 7s are 21. Children. Okay. So 3 over. Next to 5. To divide the 5, the last digit should be either 0 or 5. So we don't have the 0 or 5. So that this one should not divisible by 5. Correct. Next to 7 is that. So yes, it will be divisible by 7. 7 2s are 14, 7 1s are 7. 7 2s 14, 7 1s are 7. And still it will be divisible by 7 tables, 7, 3 is 21. Okay, children. So now this 441, root of 441, how can we write it? 2 times we have 3, 2 times of 3, we should stop up to here, okay. From here we can stop because finally we reach the prime number. So that the division should be ended. Then we write here the 2 times 3 is a 3 into 3 and 7 into 7. So perfect square means children a number which is multiple itself. Right? Uh, x into x, x square, 5 into 5, 5 square that is 25. 6 into 6, 6 square that is 36. So that means 2 numbers here. Right? So the square, if you want to find the square root, you can select from this any 2. Right? From these 2, you can take a number like a 3. From these 2 pair, you can take a one number that is 7. So 3 into 7, 21 is the answer. Children. So root of 441 answer is 21. If you have you can check 21 into 21, you can multiply with your answer is 441. Right? The next one is 784. So the same logic we can follow here. So I'm writing the 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. So with the divisibility rule, I will check here 784. Last number is the even number so that it is divisible by 2, right? 2, 3 is 6. It carries 1 from here to here, that means 80. 2, 9 are 80. 2, 2 is 4. So last number again 2, so you can divisible by 2 again. So 2, 1 is 2, 1, 9, 19. 2, 9 is 18. 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 6 are 2. Our last number is 6, that is even number. Again, it should divisible by 2. 
so two nines are eighteen, one six sixteen, two eights are sixteen. So last number is eight. So that again it should be divisible by two. That is two fours are eight, one eight eighteen, two nines are eighteen. So forty nine is the number. Forty nine we can divisible by seven. Seven seven is forty nine. Take seven seven. Finally, seven is the prime number. So how we write it? This one seven hundred eighty four root of root of how many twos are there? One two three four. One two three four. How many sevens are there here? Two times are there. Seven into seven. Seven into seven. So what we do to find the square root? Take a pair here like this. Two two numbers, right? From these two, you can write one two here. From these two, you can write one two. From these two sevens, you can write one seven. So seven into fourteen, fourteen two is twenty eight. So twenty eight is the square root of seven hundred and eighty four. So the next number is four thousand ninety six. So four thousand ninety six. Let's say I'm going to divide. Say last number is six. It should be divisible by two again. Two twos, two zeros, two fours, eight. It carries one here, so it becomes sixteen. Two eights are sixteen. So again, last digit is eight. That is even number. We can divide with two. So two ones, zeros, two twos, and two fours. Again, last digit is four here, so you can divide it, uh, divide by two. Two fives are ten. Two ones are two. Two twos are four, and two twos are four. One one eleven. Two fives are ten. One two two are two six are twelve. Two ones are two. Again, two twos are four. One six sixteen. Two eights are sixteen. Two six are twelve. Two fours are eight. Because again, last number is four. That is sixty four. So we can divide by two. Two threes and two twos. Last number again two. You can divide by two. Two sixteen times. Two eight times. Two four times. Finally, two two times. Okay. Completely we got your two. So root of four thousand ninety six means what we write? How many times are there? Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So completely, this root will be continued here. Root will be continued here. Okay, children. So take from this two one two, from this two one two, again from this two one two, from this two number one two. Take from this two number one two, and we have one more two. That is two to the four, four to the eight, eight to the sixteen, sixteen two is thirty two, thirty two two is a sixty four. The sixty four is the square root of four thousand ninety six. So if you hide it, you can check 64 into 64 two times to multiply. You will get answer is 4096. Okay, so 7056 is there. So how we can write this one? So same process like that only. Okay, 7056. The last digit is six. You can divide by two. So two threes, two threes six. We have one zero. Okay, two threes are six means it leaves one. See if you have any doubt, these are I can't understand sir this one. Why is the number is carrying there just? Better you can divide like this. Two three six. Take one here and take this zero. Write two five ten. We have a five. This five written here. Two two are four one and this six will be written here. That is two eight is sixty. So three five two eight. So when you have a doubt to write this one, so just you can do the rougher with the particular number, either it is two or three. So completely you can divide with only prime numbers. Okay. So three thousand five hundred twenty-eight last digit is eight. Eight is an even number, so you can divide by the two. Two two is a four. Sorry, two one is a two. Correct. So it carries one from here to here. Two five ten. Sorry, two sevens fourteen. One two twelve. One two twelve. So two six is twelve, and two four is eight. So again, two eight is sixteen. One six sixteen. Two eight is sixteen. Two two is four. Take two table. Two fours, two fours, and two ones. Two four five ones. Okay. So four plus four, because one is an odd number, it should not divisible by two. Then you take four plus four is eight. Eight plus one is nine. Nine means three three is a nine. So that it is divisible by three. Three also a prime number, so you can divide by the three. Three ones are three. One four fourteen. Three four is twelve. Two one twenty one. Three seven is twenty one. Take seven tables. Seven threes. Sorry, seven twos and seven ones. Seven twos are fourteen. Seven ones are seven. Seven threes are twenty one. So how we can write it? So.
So root of 7056 means you can write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times are 2 is there. And 2 times are 3. And 2 times of 7. So as you know that from every two numbers we have to select a one number to get an answer from every two. That means from this page you can write one two, from this page you write one two, from this page you write one three, and from this page you can write a seven. That is so two twos are four, four threes are twelve, twelve sevens are eighty-four. So eighty-four is the square root of seven thousand fifty-six. So that's the topic question. So I hope you understood how to find out the square root of the given number using prime factorization method. So in the next class we will discuss some more problem regarding this one. So take care. Bye and Jai.